Welcome back for more Shogun 2, folks. Now, looking at victories is often wonderful and enjoyable and happy, and I've been able to use a couple of those to demonstrate a few of the reasons why I keep winning victories in Shogun 2. However, the really interesting battles, the ones where you really learn something, are when you lose, and lose hard. We're going to take a look at one of those today. My opponent is Gothmar, and I, of course, am Corbeau. Gothmar's army is laid out in four layers. He fronts with several units of veteran Ashgaru archers. Behind them are units of veteran Ashgaru matchlocks. Behind them are a couple of thinly spread units of green warrior monks and a throwaway unit of green lone swords. And behind that are elite lone sword units. That may sound like an oxymoron for Ashgaru, but we'll come back to those later. His general is primarily a leadership type, including stand and fight. My own army is the same basic composition you've seen before in my previous videos. My front is comprised of swords, and I have a few naginata and matchlock units to round out the basic composition. The mobile units of both armies are crucial, however. I have a unit of Yari cavalry in the far distance and a unit of bow cavalry in the foreground as my maneuver elements. Gothmar, however, has two units of Yari cavalry on each flank, which is a substantially larger investment. I also have a unit of ninjas out in the corner that you can't see, but they are completely irrelevant to the battle after they get randomly caught by Yari cavalry in the open. Let's get the pain train rolling. The first lesson will be taught by this cavalry charge. I expect that I could pull back my bow cavalry behind my lines, and Gothmar would have to break off. That's not quite the way this goes. Gothmar's strike on my marching katana infantry kills about half a unit of them, and he loses very few Yari cavalry in return. Even when not engaged, sword infantry is still exceptionally vulnerable to cavalry charges. On the other flank, another disaster is unfolding. My Yari cavalry has been caught by two units of Gothmar's previously hidden Yari cavalry. I attempt to at least salvage something by disrupting Gothmar's missile line. But my attack actually comes too soon, and Gothmar does not overreact to it. Now comes another cavalry charge on my lines. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shake for this place. I expected to lose about a unit going in, but this is actually even worse because the cavalry charge has done additional damage of its own and frozen half my line far away from the missile units, which means the missile units are free to chew them up. I have lost about half of my mainline infantry already. Hidden units, my lord, treacherously meant to ambush us. Now Gothmar brings up his Ashgaru infantry, his elites. These have 26 melee attack. Lone swords usually only start with nine base plus modifiers. These Ashgaru have been upgraded to the maximum. That requires an obscene investment in clan tokens, but it means they are incredibly cuckoo efficient. They completely swamp my main lines. At the moment, all of my infantry is losing, and I have not even touched his main archery forces. Now, this next lesson I already knew. But it was a moment of desperation, as I had to reach his missile units somehow. Hero units versus matchlocks. Let's watch the outcome of this. This is how you kill hero units.
Now you can see the weakness of the lone swords, even the elite ones now, as they waver. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. But morale really only matters in a close battle, and this is not a close engagement anymore. Gothmar's missile units gathered about a hundred kills apiece, which is far too much for my melee army to take. And then his swords could completely clean up the rest without having to worry about their low morale. His cavalry, of course, were what made it all happen in those charges and in neutralizing my own cavalry. Sometimes it hurts to replay these over and over again to figure out exactly why you lost, but trust me, it's worth it. My own army composition has shifted noticeably as a result of this battle. 